With more than 97% of people beginning their search for local business online, search engine optimization, SEO for short, continues to be one of the most effective forms of marketing available today. But as useful as SEO is, it's also one of the most complex and technical marketing tactics available, which means confusion and a missed opportunity for many business owners. So in this video, I'm going to break down a few of the most valuable and easiest to implement SEO tactics so you can start benefiting from a business boost that only high search engine rankings can provide. Hello and welcome, my name is Adam Earhart and you're watching The Modern Marketing Show, where we take different marketing tactics, tools, tips and strategies and break them down into bite-sized, actionable clips that you can use to immediately take your business to the next level. There's no doubt about it, SEO has been the largest driver of my digital marketing agency, Siren Consulting Firm's traffic and business over the last five years. In fact, I can attribute roughly 60% of all revenue to business gain directly by a client searching for something online, clicking on my agency site, and then choosing to do business with us. A quick earnings disclaimer. My boutique marketing consulting business, adamerhart.com, comes mostly from referrals, followed by content marketing and paid traffic. Different business models mean different traffic sources. I've worked personally with dozens of companies, spoken with hundreds more, and studied many, many more than that and have come to the conclusion that choosing not to pursue an SEO strategy should be a very rare exception and never a rule. Put bluntly, SEO works. It brings in traffic and it brings in revenue, which are both key ingredients to building profitable and sustainable businesses. So here's how to do it. Search engine algorithms, which are the complicated math equations behind why certain websites appear higher than others, are notorious for changing. It seems like there was a time not so long ago when not a day went by without some breaking news about a panda or penguin update being overhauled and unleashed on the world. As a quick side note, panda, penguin, and hummingbird are part of Google's algorithm. Cute little animals designed to destroy bad SEO tactics and the companies that use them. Anyways, staying ahead of these ferocious little animals means staying current and relevant on the latest SEO news and development, and right now, the focus is on user experience. For starters, this means no keyword stuffing or cramming as many of your ideal target keywords onto your website and no unnatural looking linking schemes like pointing every link on your website back to your homepage using the exact same money keyword. Rather, it means ensuring that there is both sufficient content on your site to give your visitors the information they need while simultaneously keeping it clean, organized and easy to navigate. And mobile friendly. You really can't forget about mobile friendly, as over half of all web browsing is now done from something other than a desktop computer. Next up is keyword placement. One of the ways search engines decide what websites are going to appear for certain search terms is keywords, specifically the type, number, and placement of these keywords on your website. There's a bit of a balance between ensuring adequate coverage of your most valuable terms, known as proper keyword density, and not overdoing it, known as keyword stuffing, that makes SEO an exciting and challenging field to work in. But in general, there are a few key places you want to make sure are accurately reflecting the word you're trying to rank for. These include things like URLs, titles, body copy, page descriptions, and proper image tagging like labeling the image titles, descriptions, and alt tags. If this all sounds totally insane and confusing, don't worry, you're not alone. SEO is a pretty complex and advanced level marketing tactic, and you should run from anyone who tells you otherwise. The good news is that depending on your website and how it's built, adding, editing, or adjusting these terms is possible to do. Whether you choose to take on the task yourself or hire an SEO consultant to help is entirely up to you and how much time, energy, and resources you want to invest in the project. But make no mistake, this is a project worth investing in. The next step is to strike the perfect balance between making sure you're using the right keywords for your business while still respecting the user experience and not keyword stuffing. And one way to do this is with latent semantic indexing. Search Engine Journal describes latent semantic indexing, LSI for short, as a mathematical method used to determine the relationship between terms and concepts and content. Basically, LSIs are fancy talk for synonyms or similar words. 
So if you're trying to rank for a keyword like car, you would also want to use other words on the page like auto, automobile, vehicle, truck, van, SUV, or other similar terms that'll help provide relevance while simultaneously respecting keyword density. The trick here is to keep it natural, which will not only benefit the search engine's crawl, but will also add to the user experience. Once all that's done and running smoothly, it's time to step outside. Outside your website, that is. That's because as great as you say your website and company are, search engines want a little more proof. And they get this proof through links. Specifically, the quality and number of links that are pointing back to your website. And a great long-term strategy to safely and ethically acquire high-quality links is through an SEO-focused content marketing strategy. The basics of an SEO content marketing strategy are really quite simple. Create good content, put it on your website, and then build links to it. But like all things, the devils are in the details. So here are a few methods to ensure you're creating shareable, also known as linkable content, and then a few suggestions for how to get those links. Video is the future of internet content. If you haven't already, now is the time to start creating some form of video content for your business and embedding it on your website. Infographics are easily shareable because they quickly compile large amounts of data and portray it in an easy to consume, visual, and fun to share format. No article is complete without at least one high quality image. Custom professional photography is best. Edited and customized stock photography works great. Quickly shot smartphone pics can work, but classic stock photographs, think of business people shaking hands and smiling unnaturally at the camera, well, these should obviously never be used. This one should go without saying, but it's important, so I'm gonna say it anyways. Quality is far more important than quantity. If your schedule only allows for the creation of one high quality piece of content per day, week, or month, then do that. Low quality content doesn't get shares, doesn't get links, and doesn't help build your brand, business, or SEO. So now that we've got all that covered and you know what type of content to create, here's how to build links to that content so you can start to boost your website search engine rankings. Manual outreach is neither a new strategy, Neil Patel wrote about it back in 2012, or a super sexy strategy. It's actually really time consuming and boring, but it works, so stick with me. If you created great content, one of the best ways to get links is to simply link out to someone else and then let them know that you did it. In doing so, they may either link back to you or share your content with their audience. Now, of course you need to do this tactfully and ethically and strategically, and don't expect a 100% reply rate or even a 10% reply rate, but every link helps. A great way to build brand awareness, earn links, and simultaneously provide value to the marketplace is to put a little money behind your content by advertising it using paid traffic. My top pick right now is Facebook ads as they're cost effective, allow incredibly detailed targeting, and allow you to retarget people who consume your content both quickly and easily with their retargeting pixel. If manual outreach sounds like too much of a pain, and if you don't yet have the budget for paid traffic, then social media is for you. Both videos and infographics work well on social media right now. Pinterest more so for infographics and Facebook and YouTube for video. But the most important point is that if you're going to be spending any considerable amount of time on social media, you want to make sure that you choose a platform that your customers are actually on. Otherwise, you may get a few links, but you won't get the collateral benefit of building a bigger and better known brand. Lastly, we have SEO. Wait, SEO? Now, you may find it strange that in a video on SEO tips and tricks, SEO is one of the tips, but stick with me. You see, by consistently creating high quality shareable content, by using the right keywords and putting them in the right places, and by creating content with the end user in mind, your content is well set up to start ranking all by itself in the search engines. The secret here is to go for more specific topics which are less competitive. By going after these specific topics, also known as long tail keywords, your odds of success improve dramatically and over time you'll build up a collection of long tail keyword content that will bring in a steady and consistent supply of links, traffic and leads for your business. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for a future video, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like more content like this, then head over to adamairhart.com and sign up for the Modern Marketing Newsletter, because this is where I share my best tips, tricks, and strategies that I don't share anywhere else. Take care for now, and I'll catch you next time on the Modern Marketing Show.